The cabins are built. The cabins have power. The cabins have water. That means, really, there's only one thing that the cabins need that they don't have, and that would be campers, essentially. The cabins need campers. So if we go to rooms and we go to dormitory and we say that that's a dormitory, that's a dormitory, and that's a dormitory, we can say that's a dormitory, which gets us $20,000. That's a dormitory, and that's a dormitory. We can have up to 24 campers, and we are going to get 24 campers in just 50 minutes. Now, the interesting thing with that is that we may very well need more camp counselors. So let's go up to 20 of those. And let's also have a look here, because we do have the ability to assign counselors to certain areas. So I'm going to do that. I'm also going to say we're going to have a couple assigned in there. And we're going to make sure that certain areas are set to be for, let's say, uh, camp staff only. So something like that. This area back here for the time being can be exactly the same thing. This area down here. And then the rest of it is totally fine for me at the minute. Now, what I do want to do is I do want to go in and I want to keep doing this thing that I did between episodes, which was start laying down some... Uh, some better paths and stuff like that in the in the yards so that they're much more noticeable as actual yards so we'll get those in there we're gonna want to bring some stone down through here and we're gonna want to really double down on getting our paths in here uh properly now there we go we have campers arriving they're gonna be on a bus oh wait a minute i realized we forgot one really important thing we do not have uh gates currently so we need to go and we need to dismantle, preferably, a bunch of those and get that prioritized. And then at the bottom down here, we may very well need to do the same thing. So let's prioritize that work as well. Shouldn't be too big of a deal, given that we have a lot of handy folk to uh, to be doing that stuff. But definitely a bit of a worry that we don't have these uh, these gates in here just yet. Let's uh, let's hope I can do it pretty quickly. There we go. So do that and prioritize the work. And then down here, prioritize the work as well. Let's get those installed quick as we possibly can. Now we're finding a lot of things right away in the uh, in the old uh, in the old reception there. A lot of campers bringing things to camp they shouldn't be bringing. That looked like a toilet brush. That's interesting. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. What are you? What? Why are you in a... Why did he come in here in a black shirt? That's... Interesting. We've also got a gang member right there. What's this guy complained about? What's up with you? Requires solitary... Really? Some of them already require solitary thought. Okay. <laughs> this is going so well. Um, so there, 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 and there, and there. Alright, that should keep them relatively happy. We should probably go in and figure out the uh, the regime from one day to another. So what I want them to do is wake up early, go to shower, um, then go eat, and then uh, free time and work time and all that stuff. So you're going to work up until like 7, at which time you can go and eat, and then free time, and then maybe shower before, before bed. Maybe two showers in a day would be a good idea. Let's do forced yard time in the evening as well. So you eat, you go to the yard to work off the food you just ate, and then you go shower, and that should be fine. That should keep them relatively happy for the time being. Now, what I want to do is I really, really want to fix these pathways around here because they are not great right now. The, the whole camp is looking a little bit worse for wear, and I want to fix that. So we want to bring some stone around all of these different areas. We want to make sure everything is the way it should be, which it certainly isn't right now. Uh, like this path up here. This should look a little bit more like that. You know, it should come around a little, uh, just a little bit more. We should have this bit in here filled up a little bit better. This bit out here filled up a little bit better. I know that bit's not built yet, but just improving on all of this is going to, I think, go a pretty long way to make this place look a bit nicer like this path up here is barely a path it barely exists so if we can get that sorted that would be great too now the good news is all these guys are being moved into their various uh their, <laughs> their various cabins so they can keep on doing that 
Uh, we do have logistics as well. Interesting. Does that mean that we have the, uh, we do have laundry? Okay. In which case, laundry, uh, is going to be in here. And then, uh, what is the other one? Cleaning cupboard is going to be, uh, right in here. What we can also do is one, uh, one, two, three, four, five gardeners. And we'll say one, two, three, four, five janitors as well. Cleaning cupboard can go ahead and do its thing. Then laundry is going to be... Let's see. Let's get just a, uh, a couple of those. We can do a few laundry machines down here. Quite expensive, but that's all right. Then some laundry baskets can go like in there. And uh, I don't know, in the corners as well or something. So we'll do a lot of that. That's going to be a pretty hefty project, I guess. But that's all right. Not going to be not going to be too worried about that. We do need to get the door open, though, so that these guys can come through. There they go. All right. So they're off to do their thing. Workers will come through and do their thing shortly. We have a lot of people in solitary, but that's fine. Not going to stress too much there. And, uh, yeah, we've got these guys out here just sorting out the path, which is good. Now, let's take a little look because we have more grants. We have health and well-being and visitation rights. We should probably do both of those since they are relatively easy to do. Uh, we don't have patrols yet, which is interesting. We are looking into patrols, but I would like to get that sooner than later. Maybe we could go into... Uh, let's go for extra grant bank loan we've probably got the money for tax relief and we'll go into legal as well not that we're really going to need legal but we'll go there anyway we'll just keep every you know keep everybody busy that's kind of the uh that's kind of the plan there uh now let's see you guys are you guys are all hanging out that's nice i'm just glad that, i'm glad that you know things haven't immediately gone crazy you know what i mean uh, that, that that's that's i'm happy about that uh, now, I'm noticing visitation rights. They want a pool table and a common room. We can build those eventually. I, I kind of have an idea for that. Um, but the phone booth thing, we'll do one, two. We'll do three. We'll do four. And then over here, we'll do a similar thing. So one and two and three and four. And that should sort that. We'll put some lights into the corners of that particular yard. And I'm noticing this path up here is also... Not great looking. We kind of need to fix that. Let's get that tidied up a little bit. Let's get this bit tidied up a little bit. And uh, over here as well needs tidied up. Look at the mess. Look at the absolute mess around here. It's terrible looking. Over here needs a bit of uh, a bit of love. Like it's really not good looking at all. It's a really bad look having everything just be in such disrepair. It's terrible. Uh, bring this down here to tidy that up, that through there, clean all that. And then we still need to bring paths around the back of this building as well. That's not even been done. There's so much cleaning that we need to do. This place is just a total mess. But I think we'll get there. We'll get, I mean, I know we'll get there. These, these janitors and gardeners are going to do a fantastic job, I think. Uh, this over here is going to be needing water. Can I, I think I'll just bring a large pipe up there. So prioritize all that. We'll get it built as soon as we can. And I guess we really need patrols, which we now have. What we don't have is something that's quite important, which is micromanagement. And micromanagement, why do we not have that? What are we working on instead? We're working on legal. Can we go for micromanagement instead? Uh, No, we're going to focus on legal. Okay. In that case, what we'll do is we're just going to go to deployment, guard patrols, and uh, we're going to have a guard essentially just patrol this uh, this back corridor at all times. I want the guard to poke his head into there and poke his head into there. We'll have two guards back there. We probably have enough guards to do that as well. Uh, similar situation for the canteen, I think. We'll have two guards sort of cycle around a little bit. That way we can go to station and take guards off of that. So they're actually going to walk around the canteen in a way that I think will be pretty good for us. Uh, could probably do the same for the yards. Could probably... Do wow, we just got so much from exports. Oh my god. And it's still going to be going. That is... Uh, that's kind of nuts. I'm quite okay with that, though. I, I am quite okay with that. 
Uh, similar story up here for the guard patrols as well. I'm going to do a guard patrol down there and there. And then I want guards that are essentially going to go into each of the cabins here. And uh, we'll do three guards on that. So that's going to be guards that can just check that everyone is doing all right up that way. And uh, that should be totally fine. This kitchen in here is totally packed. Oh my god. That's, that's kind of nuts looking. But the good news is our staff can relax. They can get food. They can have a good time. Like, that's 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 what we want to be seeing there. So they're quite happy. Uh, these guys over here, are we feeding them? I think we are. I'm pretty sure we're feeding all of them. So we seem to be doing a pretty good job there. So I guess what we could do is... Let's go ahead and try and make this place look a little bit nicer. Let's go in with... Um, I want to do... You know what? I want to do ceramic floor in the kitchen, even though it's crazy expensive. Just because, like, it doesn't even give us walk speed. It's just normal walk speed. But that's, actually, you know what? Cancel that. Give me this one. That'll be so much better looking. And then give me, I don't know, white tiles in the, uh, in the canteen itself. And then this back, uh, this back corridor can be, I don't know, mosaic floor, I guess. We'll keep it kind of boring. So mosaic floor back here. And I guess we'll do white tiles in both of these rooms, too. Let's just get it, you know, get it kind of nice looking. These these right here, these uh, checkered ones, those are new. They came in a recent update to Prison Architect. Which, I mean, it just, you know, it's a kitchen, right? It probably should have that kind of floor. Uh, over here, we can probably do the same thing. So, checkered floor. There, we can do white tiles up here. And then I want to do wooden floor for the rest of the uh, the staff room. Just because I think it should be it should be fancy. Same with the offices, too. And, you know, since we have the money, we might as well do this. It's a total waste of money, but why not? Uh, what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing in there? It is sleep time. Why are you in a holding cell? Why are you in a holding cell? What's going on there? That has me a little concerned. Should they not be in... Should you guys not be elsewhere? Because I'm pretty sure there is enough room. I mean, two, four and four is eight and four is twelve. Yeah, there's 24 beds up there. Why are you guys in here at sleep time? That is not good. That is not where we want them to be, but okay. We can uh, figure that out later on. Let's do the mosaic floor in here. So that this area is just going to be relatively... Basic and boring. Uh, white tiles in here and white tiles in there as well. And that should be totally fine. I'm thinking around the reception, we could do some wooden flooring, even though it's kind of expensive. I think it'll look kind of nice. So do wooden flooring just all along those parts. And I think we can do wooden flooring in the corridors back here as well. So all of this space is going to have wooden flooring. It's going to look fancy is what it's going to look and it does. Like, it looks it looks nice. This area over here looks better than it did as well. So that's... I mean, it's something we can afford to do, right? So we might as well. It's uh, it's a good look, I think. I genuinely think it's a good look. Uh, now, let me see. Deployment. Do we have the scheduler yet? We don't. That's fine. So you guys are all patrolling up there. I am... I am genuinely curious as to why there's a bunch of guys not... Uh, not in beds. I'm genuinely curious. That's weird. That's really weird to me that these guys have been put in a holding cell. Like, what are you... All the available... Oh! Cells are too high quality. I know how to fix that. That is a... Oh, where is it? Intake? No. Prisoners? No. Jobs? Uh, I think it's policy. And I... So we need prison policy before we can put these guys in... Uh, in cells. Uh, which is gonna be... Hopefully not too long before we get that. Please tell me you're going to do... Yeah. So, prison policy is essentially what we need. We need to go into prison policy and say that uh, ignore cell quality. That way, what will happen is any prisoner can go in any cell, even though, you know, these guys might be... Like, this guy... What is, what is he in for? I, I don't know what the... I don't know what determines whether or not a... Uh, 
I don't know what determines whether or not a prisoner goes in one cell or another, but essentially the cells we have are too high quality for that guy. So that's why. Uh, let's get a psychologist. And let's get a lawyer. Because we might as well. And uh, then we should be able to see your needs, which we totally can. So that's good. So those guys will be moved into, uh, into their own cell once we get policy going. And uh, I guess we could look into clearing out more of this space over here. And I think that's something I want to do. I want to start dismantling uh, a few trees around here so that we can uh, keep this area nicely under control because it is getting a little bit overgrown again. So just take out all of those trees as best we can. Uh, let's just try and strip back the entire area a little bit. And uh, over here as well, just take out all of that. So that's all going to be cleared out. That little tree in there needs to be cleared out too. And prioritize all of that work, please. Because I want to get more cabins. I want to get more of those things in there. I want to get more people into the camp. And I want to make sure that... Uh, I mean, our cash flow is... Honestly, probably not great. Our cash flow is probably not great simply because we have so many staff. You know what I mean? We have a lot of guards. We have a lot of workers, handy folk, whatever. Uh, basically, you know, our cash flow isn't going to be great. But that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and start putting in more foundations and stuff like that. So let's do a brick building right there. Let me do a concrete extension and a concrete extension. And then over here is going to be kind of similar. Let's try and get both of these structures uh, built at the same time. Let's try and get visitation going and try and get uh, everything else going as well. So let's, uh, yeah, let's just let them let them build over there. In fact, what we could probably do is go in and say dismantle. Do not dismantle that and do not dismantle that door either. Uh, but do dismantle all of these trees. Let's try and take, let's try and just clear this area out because it is stupid crazy overgrown right now. And I think we're going to have to try and pave the, uh, the area outside of the camp as well because it's just, it's just nuts with, uh, with trees right now. Or, you know, you could look at it, at it another way. It is nuts with money right now because that is kind of what this all is. So there we go. Uh, this area is actually very nearly clear, which is good. I'd like to dismantle all of these trees as well and get that prioritized so that we can, uh, we can continue to, uh, to grow the number of cabins. And then this area over here, I think it's going to be good, right? We've got this big path that goes down there. It's going to be medical. It's going to be visitation. It's going to be good. I'm actually really excited to see this come together. Oh, that's bad. That's, that's, that's not good. Warren Ingham seems to have overdosed on the fun that he's having here at camp. Um, now that's, that's bad for a couple of reasons. Mostly because we don't have doctors right now, or at least we don't have anywhere for doctors to go. We could hire one and actually, are you going to go treat him? Oh, oh, well, that's neat. Okay. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Requires an infirmary. That's fine. Where are you going though? Oh, do you just hang? Okay. I actually didn't know you could do that. I mean, the doctor requires an infirmary, but basically if someone's sick, the doctor's going to go and respond to it. That's fair enough. I can I can get behind that. Also, I've got behind the idea of expanding uh, quite considerably here. We're going to be able to get quite a few cabins in here, which is going to be very exciting. And I'm thinking this area in here next to the, this one will end up being like a common area, so we can totally get like a pool table in there and that all that stuff. Uh, this area over here is taking its time unfortunately but that's all right i think we could probably get away with just prioritizing uh all of that work right there and see if i can get all of my my handy folk over there doing their thing it is it is really cool though like i i know that this this tree thing i remember the last time i used this this like tree overgrowth thing uh people were like hey man like it doesn't it take out part of the challenge i mean in a way yeah, it absolutely does. It takes out the need to really worry about money because you can kind of just print money by exporting all this. But with a game like Prison Architect, especially with this idea of like the the I don't you know the summer camp thing, it's a dumb idea, right? It, let's let's boil it down. It's kind of it's it's not really a summer camp. Not to ruin the series three parts in, but it's not actually a summer camp. Shh, just don't just 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 go along with it. Um, but yeah, the the whole the, like it's. I like this, right? I like Prison Architect when it's a little bit 
I, I like the design process. The management side stresses me out so much. Um, I, I like designing stuff. I like... I like stuff to be functional. I, uh, even though it might look silly, I still want it to be functional. Does that make sense? Like, this is really fun for me, and that's why I'm playing the game. Not because I... I'm like, oh, I really enjoy being super stressed out by trying to manage and micromanage my prison super in-depth. Like, that's not fun for me, so... That's kind of why. Anyway, turn off cell quality ratings there, and these guys will be moved uh, over into their own cells as opposed... Sorry, their own cabins as opposed to... <laughs> gotta keep up the facade uh, as opposed to um, being stuck in the holding cabin there. So that'll be totally fine. Uh, all of this getting cleared out pretty well. I think most of the foundation stuff is done here as well. Which is pretty good. We kind of just gotta wait on, on the handy folk clearing everything else out, so... I think we're doing alright. Genuinely think we're doing all right here. Um, as for you guys, you guys are all getting fed. Are we actually feeding everybody? Yeah, we are. 100% of them have been fed. That's beautiful. That is, uh, that is exactly what we want to see. This area over here, also coming together really well. Gonna need some considerable cash to build all of that, but, uh, I can see plenty of it lying around, so we're not gonna worry too much there. I mean, just one little swipe like this, and, uh, yeah. There we go. There's some money. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. That's, that's so dumb. It's so broken as well. I know it is, but I just enjoy it, so whatever. Uh, let me see. So, you're gonna open up the way. You're gonna open up the way and up the way. And, uh, you can open... Okay, you're not gonna be opening up the way, that's fine. Can we get whatever's blocking this door out of the way, please? That would be really nice. I'm just gonna say that right now. Uh, I suppose this would go here. And then what way would this go? So this one needs to open down the way, I believe. So yeah, you would go there, and then you go there. And that should be totally fine. So we can get all the doors in there. This whole place will build eventually. We're going to need to get rid of that fence over there as well. But this is this is almost there. I think. You're stuck behind that door. Of course you are. Did I just get refunded for foundations? Oh, no. Tell me I didn't just get refunded for foundations. Did I? I think I did. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, brick, please, concrete, please, build all of that, I guess. I'm not really sure what's going to happen here. I may have just accidentally refunded, like, a tiny bit of foundation. That's not good. That's not a thing I meant to do. So if these guys could just prove me wrong, that would be great. So visitation's going pretty well. Just got to put the tables in there. We're getting some lights installed at the moment as well. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a bunch of a uh, bunch of lights into a whole bunch of uh, this space, just to try and keep it nice and bright. Uh, this area up here coming along pretty nicely too. I'm gonna put some lights into uh, into all of that, and then uh, some lights into the corners of the medical room proper too. So if we go to rooms, we're going to want a morgue, which is, uh, going to be honest, a little tricky to spin that one and keep up the facade, but whatever. Uh, infirmary is something we're going to be wanting, so throw that into there. And, uh, office is, uh, is what this is going to be, which isn't really going to get used much, but that's fine. Let's go to objects then, and, uh, yeah, let's just go nuts with these. Just a bunch of those. Should be totally fine. Uh, let's see. So medical beds are actually kind of expensive. That's that's worth noting. Uh, but we should be able to get at least a few of them in there. We shouldn't ever need that many of them. I really hope I never need that many of them. But uh, you can never be sure. You really can never be sure. It's... Uh, <laughs> I mean, some sometimes you're like, Ah, you know, everything will be fine. Everything's going to be going to be perfect. No one's going to be going crazy at camp this time and then they do and then everyone 
Everyone suffers because of it. I mean, everyone's happy at camp. No one ever suffers at camp. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't know. Don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just having a senior moment. That's all. Don't worry about me. Uh, we'll run some power up to there. We'll run some power through to there. And I don't think we need any water over this way, so we should be fine just to run the cables and uh, and leave it at that. I also want to go and put in the extra foundation for this stuff over here too. So that's all going to be built there. And essentially what we can do is go to object, door, and we want to throw the doors onto uh, each of these little parts. want to do the same thing for all of these parts as well. And I guess we could go in and throw in the uh, all of the pathways too since we're here. And then we just copy and paste everything else and this should be... This should be pretty easy. This this really should be so easy to uh, to upgrade all of this. So grass into each of the little gardens as well. I can't believe I've given I can't believe I'm giving them gardens. Like I did this on I did this in the live stream uh, a while ago, and I, it was it was weird then, is what it was. It was it was still pretty weird at that point as well, and uh, it's still weird. Like this isn't this isn't really. I don't know. It's weird, is what it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just stick with weird. It's a good word. It'll do. Uh, now I'm realizing we are gonna need a security space at some point as well here, because we need to get some door automation in here. We also kind of need some stuff for the yard. Now that I think about it, like we need weight benches or something. So let's do, um, let's just do a bunch of them, like along here. So that'll give uh, that'll give these guys something to do. We could do I don't know some benches I guess between the phones or something kind of like this. So they have somewhere to uh, to sit if they really want. That'll give them something to do in the yards as well. Because the camp you know the camp is a place of relaxation. It's a place uh, that you can enjoy, but there's just not a lot to do. Let's be honest. Like there's there's not a lot of lot of things that you could do at camp right now, and that's okay. You know it'll it'll get more exciting, but until it does, uh, <laughs> they're very much stuck working out and just sitting around out in the open. But that's fine. That's uh, that's totally fine. Actually, something we can do is uh, give them work, basically. Give them a bunch of uh, a bunch of work, and we can go to here and say that that is going to be shared. And there we go. So now they're going to have work to do, which means that uh, they're going to be kept busy, which is what we want. I also really want to start putting in the uh, the paths around all this because I realize that is going to help them get to uh, to work a little bit better. So we'll go ahead and just bring all of this around. And I want to prioritize that. I do want to prioritize that so that we can uh, so that we can see the path around this building because I'm starting to think that paths around our buildings might be something we need to do, need to do a lot of because uh, <laughs> the trees get real close. The trees get real close. They, uh, uncomfortably close, I like to think. But we'll see. Where are all my workers there? I think they are. I don't know if that, that doesn't really look like 50 to me. No, there's still a bunch of them going up here. I guess the work up here is still prioritized as well. And what are you guys doing? Oh, you're cleaning. All right. Well, I can't really be mad at you doing the job you're supposed to be doing, but I'm not really, not really happy about the place you're going to do it. I'll admit that. I'm not, I'm not too pleased about that. I guess what we can do is go to deployment and say that, that is a staff only area back there. That's going to be staff only and so is that. So that should keep things kind of decent. Those are going to be staff only too. And uh, there doesn't need to be anywhere else that's staff only right now. So we'll manage. And uh, this work done here is actually going pretty quick. They're getting the floors in pretty, uh, pretty nicely there. These guys doing laundry. Those guys all heading up the, the, the mops and all that stuff. It's, it's coming together. Like they're actually they're actually doing some work. I'm pretty sure we do have to pay them for the work, which is uh, not quite ideal. You know, they're here voluntarily to the camp. You know, they weren't they weren't forced here. I don't know why anyone would think that they were here uh, by anything but other than choice. Uh, but you know, that's fine. Totally fine. Oh, this is a problem. We have three people that have overdosed on the sheer amount of fun they're having here at camp. That is uh, less than ideal. Is what that is. Do we have 
a doctor that is available to go to them. I'm not really sure where the doctor might be. Um, oh, oh, that's unfortunate. That's, uh, yeah, that, that's, well, that is less than ideal is what that is. Are you guys all right? Like, where's the doctor? Have we got a doctor? Oh, look, no, that's better. No one, no one has, has died today. That's all right. Ah, uh, never mind. Well, you know, uh, that does mean at least we have, uh, I mean, the timing could be worse. You know, we have this built at least. That's, I, I, look, it's, that's, that's one that's going to be, that's, that's a tricky one to explain to, uh, that's, 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 yeah, they, uh, they may have enjoyed camp a little bit. Uh, a little bit too much is is what they may have enjoyed camp there. That is that is uh, distinct possibility right there. That uh, that they may have enjoyed camp just slightly, slightly too much. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Can we go ahead and get all this built, please? I'd really like to see this area actually have power and and lights and you know be functional. That'd be great. Because it certainly seems like it's going to need to be. People don't seem to be able to properly look after themselves at camp. That's all I'm saying. Oh, well, that was easily said and easily done. This place is now up and running. Let's go ahead and get some floors in here so it's all nice and pleasant looking for everybody. So that everyone thinks that we, you know, treat our uh, campers extraordinarily well. Which we do, you know, it's not a lie. We do treat our campers extraordinarily well. Uh, in here, for example, they're gonna have some nice luxury uh, white tiles, for example. You know, that's that's just uh, just one example of how we treat them well. And uh, in here, this guy's gonna have fancy tiles, whoever works in that office, which is fine as well. So this is technically all up and uh, essentially ready to go. So we are gonna want to say that this is now visitation. The infirmary is up and working, so let's get ourselves three more doctors because I'm nice like that. Now all we need is a common room and a pool table, and then we're sorted. Although I guess we probably want to go to regime, or sorry, programs, and I guess, I guess, uh, visitation? Is that what we're looking for here? Workshop, kitchen, carpentry, general education, behavioral therapy, patrol, spiritual guidance... Uh, visitation. Oh, do- oh, I guess we need to build the common room and the pool table first. Okay, well that's... Awkward, I guess, but that's fine. At least this is up and working, we got that going for us. And I guess... Oh, this is all ready to go too. Ooh. Oh, this is exciting. Okay. Uh, let me get a quick build, let me get a clone. And let me see, can I just copy and paste... Everything? Is that an option? Does it paste the walls? It does. Oh. Oh, this just got so much easier. Okay. So we can literally just go along here and stamp new uh, new cabins into uh into that space. Let's get it done. Let's absolutely get that all done. Let's run power into the rooms and then uh we're sorted. Well, pipes as well and then we're sorted. But you get what I mean. Okay, that is going to keep the workers busy for quite a little while, I think. But I'm really excited to see it come together. Because that's going to be uh, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 48, I believe. I believe that's 48, isn't it? 48 new... Uh, yeah, it'll be 48. 48 new campers. That's going to be... That is going to be a beautiful thing. Uh, we are going to need the common room. We are going to need to do a few different things to get this up and working. Um, I'm not sure. Not entirely sure uh, what's going on there. I'm not sure why they were allowed in. We don't officially do uh, visiting at all right now. Which is a bit weird, but okay. Uh, we might want to just deploy a guard or two in there at all times uh, until further notice. And uh, guard patrols as well are going to need to be extended. Or sorry, camp counselor patrols are going to need to be uh, extended ever so slightly. So that we can go ahead and, uh, you know, make sure that everybody is properly enjoying their stay here at uh, Camp Super Happy Fun Time Summer Camp. Because if they're not, well, then we got a problem, don't we? 
Let's do three more uh, counselors on that, and let's throw a few more counselors uh, in there so that everybody has their own personal representative on the Jedi Council. <laughs> what? What? That's not even funny. That's just, that's a four. That's, that's, oh my God. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> as soon as I said personal, I just, I heard, I just heard Palpatine, my personal representative, whatever. That's fine. Good old... Good old Sheev Palpatine, eh? What a lad. What a lad was... If you haven't watched Star Wars, then, you know, this joke is completely just, whoosh, just straight over your head. But if you have, and if you know that Palpatine's real na full name is Sheev, S-H-E-E-V, then th there you go. And if you didn't know that, now you do. You're welcome. <laughs>